to my channel and to another video. I hope you are doing fantastic. Today we are going to talk about delicious fragrances, delicious and alluring fragrances. So if it sounds like something you may like, please stay with me. My name is Justina. This is my perfume world. If you like it here, please consider subscribing to this channel, leave a comment, leave a like and okay, let's start. So here I have basically many of Gourmand fragrances, however they are not like those straight up Gourmands. For me Gourmand needs to have like notes of Gourmands but also something that balances uh, all the things out so it cannot be too sweet. So I think I have those fragrances here. And the first fragrance I have and I think it's very delicious and seductive as well is Sora Dora Brosiliand. So if you like the idea of uh, having this um, lemon cake drenched in rum, I think this one is perfect. It is very delicious. It has also civet. However, don't be fooled and don't be afraid that it's like animalic note, which you may not like. This It gives the fragrance this opulence and it's slightly carnal because of that but it's not like pungent you cannot you know you cannot enjoy it nothing nothing at all like that uh, so if you like the idea as i said of lemon cake uh, sprinkled with rum it will be perfect and lasting power and longevity are just great it is also perfect gourmand for your you know warmer months if you want to use it in summer, especially during the summer evening, it will be perfect. So Sora Dora Brosseliand, so good and so yummy. Another scent is from Imag Imaginary Authors, In Love With Everything. I love this fragrance and absolutely I'm very um, surprised by it. Let's, let's put it this way, because it has raspberry, it has palm sugar, um, it has punch citrus pulp so I thought it will be very sweet very sticky and nothing appealing I would uh, say I would even say that I consider this fragrance immature when I was looking at the notes however when I smelled the fragrance I fell in love so good I can clearly feel the raspberry citruses for me this is like raspberry fizzy lemonade um, with a touch of alcohol in it so we have punch here so of course and it has uh, stardust also so yeah it is magical scent like a fairy raspberry scent so good uh, it is opulent as well and I think it comes from sandalwood that rounds up the fragrance so nice mm, it's very delicious as well and juicy and it's very happy fragrance so if you have like bad day and you're not feeling so well I think when you spray in love with everything from imaginary authors it will be you know instant mood lifter so I highly recommend this one unfortunately this one is not mine I borrowed this bottle however I'm, um, I'm strongly considering adding this perfume to my collection but because as I said it's a mood lifter and it's very yummy sparkling effervescent so so good so in love with everything from imaginary authors another fragrance is um zara barbie i absolutely love the scent and it's not be not because it's barbie you know and all that hype uh, you know, let's strip for a moment this scent from all the Barbie, you know, connotation and let's talk about scent itself. Uh, I really love it. It is compared to Killian Love Don't Be Shy and Oriana and to some extent I agree and to some extent I do not agree. It has some elements uh, from Killian Love Don't Be Shy but it doesn't have this very, very prominent orange blossom. Um, it has slight amount, but not as much and not as thick as uh, in Killian Love Don't Be Shy. Uh, it is much sweeter than, than Oriana as well. It has its own unique DNA. Here we have like this marshmallowy, bubblegummy feel, but it is nicely balanced with Neroli. So Neroli is uh, like your bitter orange smell. So good. It is perfectly balanced, at least on my skin. It is not too sweet. It is sweet. It is fluffy. It is cozy and nice and, of course, delicious. But it's not too sweet and it doesn't smell cheap at all. It has vanilla and tonka in the base. So tonka gives you the sparkle as well. I absolutely, absolutely love the scent. 
and I'm very sorry, I'm very bummed that probably it's a limited edition. It is very hard to get. I barely got mine. It was sold out in like 15 minutes. So if you get the chance to have Barbie in your collection, please do so because it's amazing and elastic power and projection on me are perfect. I must admit that I had this scent on my uh, jumper one day when I was, uh, you know, wearing this jumper, I sprayed it with Barbie and it lasted on my jumper for like three days and it was competing with my other fragrances still. So I think it's a great bang for your buck and so nice, so delicious, opulent as well. I absolutely love Zara Barbie. Another scent is uh, from Byron and it's Mula Mula Rouge Extreme. Uh, and also I'm very surprised that I like the scent, but I do, I really do. It's raspberry, cherry, um, it has florals as well. It is very sweet. It is slightly plasticky and artificial, I must admit. However, I absolutely love this feeling. It has something opulent in the base, like maybe creamy sandalwood or maybe something from ambergris. For me, it is very, very opulent and carnal at the same time. It has some mainstream touch to it, I must admit, but I cannot tell you what scent exactly. It's that, you know, DNA. If you like sweet gourmands, I think you're going to love Mula Mula Rouge Extreme. And um, compared to mainstream, of course, it has much better quality and lasting power is just enormous. So I absolutely love it. It is like tropical punch with cherries, with raspberries, so, so good. Vanilla, caramel as well. So if you like sweet, I think you're going to love Mula Mula Rouge Extreme. I'm very happy to have it, my, have it in my collection. And it was uh, kindly sent to me by the brand. So thank you very much. I absolutely love it. It is great going out scent. It is loud, it is proud, it is sweet. I love it. So Mula Mula Rouge Extreme. Another uh, very yummy and seductive scent is of course Nishane Ani. Uh, here main star of the show is vanilla with good quality, amazing quality vanilla. We also have citruses, we also have cardamom and ginger. I absolutely love those notes. Oh, so delicious. Uh, it is also the scent that reminds you slightly about lemon cake. However, here we have some kind of a plot twist. We have like this masculine element added to it. So for some people, for some women or girls, it may lean too masculine. For me, it is perfectly balanced, perfectly in the middle. I absolutely love the scent. So delicious, rich, opulent sweet at the same time and I absolutely love this uh, you know slightly male undertone in it because it balances out the composition absolute gem in my collection Nishane Ani I absolutely love it lasting power and quality are on the on the top let's let's put it this way another scent uh, it's from Ariana Grande and it's uh, Ariana Grande Cloud Intense. This one is borrowed as well. I just wanted to test it. For me, if I'm honest, it is exactly the same as, uh, you know, previous Cloud, like the normal original version. I don't know if, ju if it's just me or if it's the reality of things. Let me know because for me it is absolutely the same. Lasting power and projection and, you know, loudness of the fragrance are on top. Uh, but for me, it is also coconut whipped cream and this slightly Baccarat Rouge DNA, and that is it. Maybe it's slightly stronger, maybe it's slightly creamier, but for me, it is, you know, it is almost the same. So I do not see the point of having two in my collection, and I absolutely hate the packaging. I hate the bottle and this, you know, cloud. I don't like it at all. I must admit that I much prefer the first version where you have this baby blue bottle, at least. I really like the color baby blue, but this one I don't like at all. I like the scent though. But as I said, if you want, if you have one, you do not need the other, in my opinion at least. Another scent is from Commodity and it is Commodity Milk Plus. And don't be fooled by a name. It is not like your milky fragrance, nothing from boiled milk or anything like that. Here, the main star of the show is Tonka. If you love Tonka as me, it will be Tonka heaven. We have Tonka beans. 
Uh, we have marshmallow and ebony wood. So if you like this woody, um, slightly burnt feel, slightly warm feel in your fragrances, I think this one will be perfect, absolutely perfect. Lasting power and projections are enormous as well. Lasting power is to die for, absolutely amazing. So it's tonka, which is a toasted, which is uh, slightly almondy, exactly how I love. And it's sparkly as well, sweet, opulent, rounded. Uh, it is milky, but as I said, not in your typical milky way. Um, it is milky from marshmallow. So it's like marshmallow sweetness, goodness, milkiness, creaminess. That's, that's type of sweetness and milkiness, basically. Oh, absolutely amazing. I absolutely love Milk Plus from Commodity. So that is it. Very yummy and seductive. Um, another scent is from Zara and it's affordable. Uh, it's Zara Sand Desert at Sunset. I love this scent as well. Uh, it's very similar to Killian's Angel Share. However, for me, this one is more opulent, more silky, not as harsh and pungent as Killian Angel's Share is for me. So I much prefer this one, to be honest. So good as well. Here we also have Tonka. We have, um, what else do we have? We have some cognac note, I would say. Uh, we have chocolate as well, but this chocolate is not too overwhelming. Everything is uh, perfectly balanced as well and very, very yummy. It is, it slightly reminds me of apple pie as well, but it's not like this is the apple pie scent and that is it. It is much more complex. However, I can feel this cinnamony apple pie in the background. So good. If you have the chance to get it in your Zara, do so because it's absolutely amazing. So yummy and affordable. Zara Sun Desert at Sunset. And two last fragrances, first uh, of them will be Latafa Pride Ish Al Shuyu Gold. And this one is a dupe for Rosenda Mateo number five. I do not have a full bottle of Rosenda Mateo. I only have samples, so I thought I will bring the bottle, which I have. I needed to have it in my collection. So beautiful and yummy as well. Many people says that it reminds them of Creme Brulee, which I can agree to some extent because it's sweet but it, at the same time it's airy. It has tonka, it has saffron, it has vanilla, leather, musk, absolutely amazing. Quality of it is stunning. It is oily, it is very potent and very uh, multi-dimensional. So if you like those dimensional frag fragrances, I think it will be a perfect thing in your collection. So yummy and yeah, it's like creme brulee, but it's toasted a little bit, a little bit airy, not too sweet, not too cloying. I absolutely love Ishkal Shuyu Gold from Latafa Pride. Very, very delicious and amazing price for the quality. Um, and the last scent, uh, which is a new addition to my collection. I was gifted this fragrance and I thank you very much because it's so good. It's also scent with tonka. So apparently tonka is this yummy note for me. It's tonka zur from Pearlescent Perfumes. And this is tonka bean. This is blueberry jam, which I'm obsessed about. I didn't I even, you know, think that I will be obsessed with the note, but it's so good along with tonka and it has champagne. So this one is fruity, oh, sparkling. Slightly clean as well. It has this clean undertone, which makes this fragrance perfect for summer, even for the hot days. I must admit that I was wearing it in a hot day during the heat and it was amazing. It was very original. Tonka again is sweet and sparkling. So, so good. I know that Gabby from Gabby Loves Perfumes has it uh, in her shop and she was telling that this fragrance is not good for a warm weather. I would say otherwise. It's perfect. However, everyone has a different skin chemistry and maybe different preferences, so you need to test it out. But at least for me, it is a perfect uh, summer gourmand. So, so good and yummy. Oh my god, very, very delicious and alluring. So you need to try Tonka Zur from Pearlescent Perfumes. Bummer, because it's not available in Europe, apart from UK, uh, in Gabby shop, but um, in other places I could not find it. It is available basically in UK and only in USA. So, but if you are from UK or USA, 
you may want to check out Tonkazur. It's absolutely amazing. And that was it for today. Let me know how you, do you like the selection of the fragrances. I absolutely love the scent profile I just showed you. So let me know what are your fragrances that you like with this profile. Thank you very much for watching today and see you in my next videos. Bye-bye. <laughs>